Welcome to the Morning Cafe with the three of us. It's me, Tracy, and Daphne, and we're ready to dive in with you guys. And, you know, it's the Opinion Poll Thursday, and we cannot wait to share with you what we have and listen to what you have as we dive into the topic that we chose for you guys today. So how are you guys doing? Yeah, Hi. Okay. What? I just can't believe you said this and I said it. Morning it's cafe. my show, so yeah. yeah. We know. Yeah. So you guys are okay? <laughs> we are. We're fine. Mm -hmm. Are you Very ready to fine. dive in with the topic? Sure. Yeah, sure okay, sure okay. Sure so let's start with it. And for those who haven't checked out uh, yet what we have, is, the topic is should or can culture uh, be upgraded? If yes or if no, why? Do you think it, it can be something that can be upgraded or, you know, you know, like, you know, the change, the change that has to happen without the normal, uh, you know, um, uh, culture ways that we have? Can it be upgraded or can it can can it not be upgraded mm -hmm. I, um, culture is one thing that we can say is um, a vital aspect mm -hmm. or a factor in in everyone's life yeah yeah uh, like in different countries, there's a way they, they, they adapt to their culture. In different countries, there's a way they, they handle and also um, abide by their culture rules. So for me, I feel like culture is one thing that one can't live without. So if, if let's say in Rwanda, we have a specific uh, lineup of our, of our culture norms, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's within us to know that even though, yeah, society, you know, there, there are many things in the century that have changed. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, back then, a girl would not um, stand for herself. The girl would always be in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But today, girls are doing what men can do as well. Mm -hmm. So there's many things that have upgraded, and we're going to share about them, I think, uh, most of them, so that we can give a glimpse on how maybe no go with us, culture upgrading but it actually upgraded even without the the awareness of it being up uh, for it to be upgraded mm. in um, I was still saying in the sector of women women empowerment women being in leadership roles women being uh, out there in um, you know in, in the in the in the work uh, space where people used to think it was only for for men mm. uh, another cult another culture norm a cultural norm that actually upgraded even without people shouting about it was um, parents and and children relationship yeah, yeah parents true. and children relationship back then was either yeah or or that's that's what we used to hear about our parents you know that that yeah. but this time around children and parents they have a bond mm -hmm. they go out to share yeah. they buy for each other gifts they celebrate each other there is that relationship like that is so deep yeah Even with parents those conversations that are <coughs> Con that were considered mm. uh, prohibited to talk to your parents exactly about. yeah actually no well personally like she said i think that culture can and should mm -hmm. be upgraded because if you think about it like the world itself evolves you'll not stay in one place and expect to catch up with everybody else mm. so i'm not saying you should totally um, change your culture because at the end of the day that's what gives us the feeling or the sense of individuality but at the end of the day you also have to balance mm. and try to evolve with the rest of the world mm. so i think it really should be upgraded okay so to my part uh, what you said is really correct and looking uh, you know at whatever is happening in society it is the reality that is happening but honestly i don't think uh, that it took the culture to be upgraded for it to happen i think what it took is uh, the change of mind the change of mindset that people actually had this is me i don't think that culture can be upgraded in any way we have a saying that says if that's the right word one thing though like mm -hmm. Kuburu Mucho mm. and upgrading are two different things. Thank you. Okay, wait. Also, also, also okay, okay. One, yeah. one, one second, okay. right? You're also, so also you have to, to understand that the culture actually sets people's mindsets mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Because if my culture is sitting at home and doing nothing, 
if I'm considered like I'm the lady in that moment, I shouldn't do anything. If that's my culture, that will set my mindset. I shouldn't do anything. Like that's the culture. So if 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 now we're going out there and talking and standing up for mm -hmm, ourselves, mm -hmm. that's the culture that has been upgraded. No, let me tell you something. We with the mindsets of the people. With the mindsets, but obviously. Uh -huh. the culture first. Okay, let me tell you guys. I think we are, you know, uh, like uh, misunderstanding the difference between culture and also rights of people. Because if you... Give me a minute. Right. I, I read what His Excellency Paul Kagame posted on uh, Women's Day. Women being given the word is not a, a, a pity that they had for us. It's the rights that we deserve. Yes. So, you know, we were... Uh, prohibited or we uh, we were you know like uh, um, bribed of things that were meant to happen to us and not because it was in form of the culture but because of uh, people's minds I think they were you know like maybe they didn't know what was happening or they were illiterate but back then I'm so sorry if that's not the right word but then it's the rights that we had it's even in you know human rights we are supposed to go to school we are supposed to actually work for our money so the culture that I'm talking about is the identification of where you're from. Let's just give an example. If you're a Randiz, maybe we have our cultural dances, we have the way that we wear, which is not something that we can totally forget about. But then if we want to actually modernize what we call going with the world, as you said, not being left behind, mm -hmm. is the change of mindset that people have to actually recognize. If you're going, if you're going for it, uh, you know, People should see it not you, uh, by, uh, you know, abandoning your culture, but you moving forward with, with the rest of the world. But then culture has to be there because if, uh, for example, let me give you an example. Okay. If we uh, upgrade our culture, mm. how about somebody who's going to be born in uh, 2050? Again. They're going to be Again. Upgrading the culture is different from forgetting it's not the culture. Okay, okay. Now, what you are forgetting is that um, the culture has two sides. It has mm -hmm. a negative side and a positive side. Mm -hmm. What you are like leaning on is only the positive side. The other things that you are saying were people's mindsets were are actually the negative side of the culture. Mm -hmm. Because when you're talking to a toxic person and you're standing up, to f up for yourself, mm -hmm. what do they tell you? Mm -hmm. What is that? It's culture. Because people out there before, their culture wasn't about talking like that. But in reality, that was this toxic and negative side of their culture, which now, although it's not totally, it, it, it hasn't totally upgraded, but it's ruled and it's writing. Okay, mm -hmm. so as, okay, as, as we are going to be reading the messages, yes. let me just, you know, like highlight on my point. I'm saying if we do upgrade our culture, somebody who is going to be born at a later age is going to not get uh, the, the whole, uh, you know, the whole essence of the whole culture, but they're going to be getting a mixture of modernization and different things that you have said. But, you know, I'm saying we can still have our roots, which is the culture and then people can be elite and uh, you know educated enough and modernized enough to know that we can not be left behind with what the world is actually going to but not forgetting our roots so we can actually have that we can stand for ourselves we can wear what we like in the modern world but then we have to also know the origin which is the cultural form that we have. So that is what I think, and I think it should not be upgraded for us not to actually forget about it. Because if people who are older, if people who are older die, and then we are this generation that has a mixture of, uh, of uh, the modernized culture or upgraded culture, then who is going to be telling the, the, you know, the real essence of back then? Who is going to be there for, for that? So that's what I think. Mm -hmm. so you guys so also I think, think we can go through the comments yes. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have about five comments, and uh, you know these are the people who texted us uh, or replied to our you know topic on Instagram. And the first one is Wase Kadine. Wase Kadine uh, says um, uh, yes, she thinks it can be upgraded uh, because some people are young. Uh, some people or young generations don't know a lot about the culture, so it should be upgraded. So Grace. Um, Grace, uh, her name is Grace. She says yes because it is still preserved in schools, like teaching Kinyaranda as a lesson. Uh, thanks, that's what she thinks. And then uh, Amos Wakinama, something like that, says that's the meaning of Gakondo origin. Can you upgrade your origin? You cannot. So he thinks 
the culture cannot be upgraded. Then Muhire127 says, in order to maintain our motherhood, uh, we have, uh, I don't know if he says we have to or we have not, but he just says, in order to maintain our motherhood, our motherland, that's what he says. Uh, the last one that we have from the uh, Jalia Umurisa says, because it's our culture as Rwandans, so we must love it and appreciate it every day. So I think she thinks it, it, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be upgraded. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks to everyone that actually got to contribute and also participate on this beautiful topic that we had. So this is where we end the opinion poll. We still have a lot more coming up on the show. Please do not go anywhere.